Hey, what's up, folks? This is Keith, and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, as you can see, I've got a uh, radiator in front of me here, and it has been repaired several times, or the tank has been repaired several times. And I thought this was a great example to show you guys. I recently did a video on the do's and don'ts of radiator tank repair. And in my opinion, the best way to repair something like this is to replace the whole radiator. And I'll explain why here in just a little bit. Uh, or replace the tank. You can reuse the core or replace the tank and replace the seal in between the tank and the core there. It's been my experience and uh, the experience of the fellow that did this here that these radiator tank repairs really don't don't work that well there's some out there that might work pretty good but for the majority of the products out there that I've tried anyway they haven't done very well I'm not sure if I didn't do it right or whatever but regardless I'm gonna make my points here as to why you don't want to do this you don't want to bubble gum your radiators okay guys now you see here uh, we've got three different products used on the same leak right here uh, this right here looks like some kind of a epoxy. Uh, this here looks like more more of a this is kind of kind of hard here to the touch. Uh, this here, see that there. Um, I don't know what they were thinking with that one. That, that's just regular old uh, silicone RTV, and um, that's a no no in the first place. That's definitely not going to help. Um, but. Like I said, I, I've never really been able to get uh, any kind of a weld or, or plastic weld or epoxy or anything like that to work on these tanks whenever they crack up. And if you do find a product that does work well, what do we got down here? We got another crack in the radiator right here. So you're going to repair something down here on the plastic tank that's just as old as the plastic tank down here. and these things are just prone for cracking anyway when they get older so uh, why waste your time and try to bubble gum it when you should just get a new radiator really there used to be a place here in town where I live that would take the tanks off of the radiator and replace the tanks and reseal them and that's a fine repair that's, that's definitely a fine repair still my opinion the best way to repair a radiator that's leaking like this one was on the tank there it's just just replace the thing uh, it'll cost a little bit extra money but uh, a little less headache anyway that's my two cents on this guys um, if you guys have any questions please comment down below uh, please read the entire description down below this video before you apply any of this knowledge there's more very important information that down there that you need to know and a nice little disclaimer at the end guys thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe all that good stuff thanks again